The 60-40-20 rule is a good way to remember the fluid distribution in the body. All it really says is that 60% of the human body is made up of water by weight. And you can break the 60% uh, further uh, by grouping it into two different categories, uh, the intracellular water and extracellular water. Um, and so the intracellular water will consist of 40% of your total body weight. And the extracellular water will consist of 20% of your total body weight. Of that extracellular water, you can break that down further. So 75% of the extracellular water will be uh, interstitial. And 25% of that extracellular water will be intravascular. So uh, let's do an example to make this clear. Let's assume we have a 70 kilogram patient. So 60% of this patient's weight will be water. And so that means it will, uh, water will encompass everything here. And that's 42 liters. Of the 60%, 40% or 28 liters will be intracellular. And so that's 28 liters. And again, so that's the cell, so this would be intracellular. And 20% or 14 liters will be extracellular. And again, that's 20% or 14 liters. So this extracellular water can be further broken down. So 75% of the extracellular water uh, or 10 point five liters will be interstitial water. And the other 25% or 3.5 liters will be intravascular. And what I'm drawing right there is a, a nautery of vein, whatever you want to choose. So this brings up an interesting point to remember. So your intravascular space accounts for one twelfth of your total body water, or 3.5 liter. And everything else accounts for 11 twelfths of your total body water, or 38.8 liters. So if you have a severely dehydrated patient, um, it's not just the intravascular space that's missing volume. The everything else or the majority of your body is also lacking in volume. And so if you're trying to give fluid to a severely dehydrated patient, uh, there's a very good chance that you'll have to give more fluid than what's normally in the intravascular space. So I might need to give you know 15 liters when uh, normally there's only 3.5 liters in an intravascular space. And the reason you have to do that is you don't, you're not just making up the volume loss in the intravascular space. You also have to make up for the volume loss found uh, in the rest of the body. Um, and that's actually the majority of where your fluid loss happens. So this, it this appears a little bit counterintuitive at first, but if you understand the 60-40-20 rule, it should now make sense. So let's get to our take-home points. The first take-home point, the human body consists of 60% water, and the 60% can be broken down into an intracellular component, 40%, and an extracellular component, 20%. Of that 20% extracellular water, 75% of that 20% will be in the interstitium, and 25% of that 20% will be in the vascular space. Take-home point number two, only one twelfth of a patient's total body water is in the intravascular space. The vast majority of water is found elsewhere. And lastly, when you're giving repletion fluids, you might need to think about repleting not only the intravascular water, but also the interstitial and intracellular water as well. Thank you.